What's going on guys? My name's Liam Mailer and welcome back to Muscle Cook TV. Now the feedback from the past couple of videos has been fantastic, thank you very much for that. But there's been a recurring theme with the emails we've been getting inundated with. All you guys want to know about shopping and about preparing meals. Now, there's three misconceptions that come along with bodybuilding. It's that it takes a lot of time, it's that it's confusing, and it's expensive. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today, I think it's gonna be a very effective video, is I'm gonna get, take you guys shopping with me. Now, I've got a budget. I've got a budget of $75, or in the UK, 50 pounds. I'm gonna take you around the supermarket and show you exactly what I buy and how to take away the confusion. So the one way I do it is, I've got the cookbook here, so as you guys know, we're gonna be launching a gourmet bodybuilding cookbook very soon. Can't show you guys it yet, but I've got the recipes in front of me, okay? So for the week, the easiest way for me to do it, and it's always worked, is to eliminate guesswork by writing down exactly what meals you want to have and what ingredients you want to have. So I break it down into breakfasts, to snacks, to lunch, another snack, and dinner. So I'll take a recipe that I want to cook for breakfast this week, one for snacks and one for lunch or dinners, or I'll to choose two. For this one, I'm just going to choose one. So for breakfast, I'm writing down the list of ingredients from the recipe, for snacks from the recipe, and lunch. So I know exactly how much of each ingredient I need to buy. So when I go to the supermarket, you're not just walking about thinking, oh, there's protein, there's carbs, or I can make that, or whatever. I've got the exact ingredients that I need to buy so that I know exactly how much I'm going to spend, and it just takes away the confusion of it. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take you guys to a local butcher, and he's going to explain to you the benefits of buying meat produce locally from somewhere like that instead of buying it from your supermarket. Not to say there's anything wrong with buying it from a supermarket, but if you can, buy it from a local producer. So I've got my meal plan in front of me, I've got my shopping list in front of me. All that is to it is to go to the shops and get shopping. Let's go. Right guys, so we are in Scotland. Sorry, I don't have a tan vest on, hair slicked back. It's five degrees right now here. We're gonna go into the butchers to have a word with Sean and he's gonna give us a bit of insight regarding buying meat and chicken from a local producer. So, uh, amounts that I need to get, let's go. So that's Scottish chicken we use in this week. Uh, all our chicken is usually sourced within the UK. We don't use any foreign chicken. Uh, like say at supermarkets, they use chicken. It's obviously injected with water. There's a lot of additives in it. It shrinks while it's cooking. Um, so that is one of the benefits. Obviously, you shop, you feel good. You're going to get quality, traceability. You know exactly where your stuff's coming from. You're getting a good cracking deal. And if we see the better the customer, which we do like to see, then obviously you're going to get a better deal each week. You build up a reputation, you build up a relationship with customers, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Alright, that there, again, two more till here, or chicken. Chicken felt is usually 12 dollars a kilogram for your sales, £6 a kilogram, half yeah. price chicken. Right. Very muscle good, alright? Cool. Right guys, so there you go. If we've got any local followers in Stirling, you come to Sean's here, you mention the muscle cook, you're gonna get half price on your chicken here. Like you said, the benefits of buying your free range chicken, organic chicken, Scottish, you know exactly what's going into it. And the guys here, they generally do have a good source of information regarding the product. So just make sure when you come in, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask how much you can get. Don't be afraid to ask if they've got any deals on at the minute. And just ask the benefits of it as well because it might vary from country to country. But here, that's me stocked up on my beef and my chicken. So now we're going to go to the supermarket and get the rest of the stuff for the week. Unfortunately guys, we were not allowed to film without a permit in the supermarket, but we're under budget, so we're going to go home and unload all the shopping and I'll show you what we've got for £50 or $75. Welcome back guys, so this is what we have, this is the finished product. I'm still a little bummed out that we couldn't get to film in the supermarket, but that is what it is. We managed to get all the stuff we needed for this week's recipes, all our proteins as well, and I was left with change. Okay, so $75, 50 pound challenge was a success. So what we've got here with the money, the cookbook recipes that I wanted to cook this week is we're gonna go for peanut butter and jelly oats with a creamy scrambled egg, chive, tender stem broccoli, and that's all the recipes here. So we've got the oats, peanut butter, we've got the jam, we've got all the stuff for the eggs here, we've got the broccoli, we've got the chives over here. 
And for meal two, we wanted to go for our snacks. So that was going to be our avocado and lemon tuna rice cakes. So here we go again. Managed to get our avocados, managed to get our tuna, our lemon, our rice cakes in there. And for meal three, this was going to be our lunch. Now this was going to be a chili glazed chicken with some basmati rice. So we managed to get our chicken from the butchers with Sean. Remember, check out Sean for the discount if you're local. Then we've got the basmati rice, we've got the chilies, and we've got the herbs that we need to make that recipe. And the beef and broccoli stir fry. Now that's gonna be for meal five, dinner, low carb meal, plenty of flavor. So we managed to get our beef. All our beef here, we're gonna cut that up into strips and divide that into our meals for the week. And we're gonna go for the broccoli stir fry. We've got some nice seasonings and herbs and all that here that we managed to pack up here. And we've got our broccoli. And for our snacks, we have got our Greek yogurt, protein yogurt with some nice fresh summer fruits. Now we've got a fantastic protein brand here just now from Bio Optimizers. I'll tell you a bit more about that later. And um, we've got our Greek yogurt here. We managed to get a fantastic deal on some low fat yogurt, three full tubs here and a big bag of berries as well. Now, we had some money left over, so I managed to get our cashew nuts as well, so we'll throw those in to the, the beef and broccoli stir fry. We've got the garlic here, I needed some extra garlic, I had money left over as well. And that's the good thing about it, is you're not going in to the supermarket just buying random things. You know exactly what you've got to get, go to the checkout, buy it. If it's under budget, then you can go out and get other little ingredients, other little luxuries that you maybe didn't think that you were gonna use. Now you can add some more things into your tuna rice cakes, you can change it up, lime, tuna rice cakes, whatever you want. You can add some things in to the oats. But the good thing is, is you're not buying and wasting food. That's another main thing for here. All this food here is for a purpose. I'm gonna use all of this food, maybe not all of the rice, maybe not all of the oats, but certainly all of the, the ingredients that are maybe gonna run through their sell-by date this week. So I'm not gonna be wasting food, I've not wasted money, and it's all gonna help me towards my goals. The meal plan I'm on just now is 3,000 calories. We've got the meal plans already made out for you guys as well to follow. So the meal plan's there, I've got all the food here. All that a case is, is getting the cookbook open, following the recipe, and cooking all my meals for the week. Simple, effective, cost effective and it's just the way I do it every single week. Every single week I'll take one day just to go out and get this done and I hope you guys have took a lot from this, especially the part about getting your meats. Have a look, Google, whatever you want to do to find a local producer for your meats. Go in and just ask a couple of questions. Just go in, tell them what you're doing, tell them that you're, you're training, you're bodybuilding, you're going to make to look a certain amount of orders each week. Is there anything they can do to help you out with price? Do they have any deals? Um, just anything, anything really. And don't be afraid to ask them because I guarantee they'll be more than happy to help you. And that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Apologies about the Scottish weather. I hope you took a lot from it. Now, if you want, you can click the link below and what we'll do is we'll send you over for free the whole shopping list, how to structure your shopping list and a free meal plan on how to put all this together to help you guys with your fitness goals. My name's Liam Mailer and thanks for tuning in.